So now that we've seen the demonstration, let me show you how this cauldron combo door works. Uh, basically it works because now in the latest snapshot, the cauldrons will output a redstone signal if you have a comparator attached to them. And their signal strength is based upon how many bottles of water they have in the cauldron, so how full the cauldron is. A uh, full cauldron will output a signal strength of 3 as you see here. Uh, if you take one bottle worth of water out of the cauldron, it's a signal strength of 2. Take another one out, signal strength 1. And an empty cauldron does not output a signal. So what I've done here is I've knocked out the back wall uh, to this combo door apparatus and exposed all the wiring. Let me just get up here and you can see exactly what it looks like. There's a pretty good shot of it right there. Uh, and essentially how this works, uh, as I said before, you just have to have the right amount of water in each cauldron. And you can choose any any combination you want. Uh, the combination lock I chose to go with is uh, one. Uh, so one bottle's worth of water in this cauldron, two in this cauldron, and three in this cauldron. So if I take, uh, if I take one bottle's worth of water out of this cauldron, Essentially what happens is the signal strength from this comparator, uh, as you'll see here, it's three right now. Uh, and so that means right now this uh, repeater is powered, which powers this reset line, uh, which goes into this comparator in subtraction mode and prevents the signal from this cauldron from going through and uh, turning this torch off. So that's why the door is closed right now. When I take a bottle of water out of here, what will essentially happen is this repeater here will become unpowered. Uh, this uh, repeater here is unpowered and the torch is also unpowered. So basically the reset line will no longer get power so this will be off which means that this signal strength of 2 will be subtracted from 0 signal strength and it will output uh, the signal he signal here and open the door. So let's watch that. So there you go. Um, and as I, as I said before, uh, the only combination that will work is one, two, three. So if you, for example, were to take uh, one bottle of water out of this cauldron, it'll close. Put it back in, it'll open up again. Um, same thing happens if you go, say, uh, Say so if you went three one one, that won't work. Uh, three zero one won't work. Three zero zero won't work. Three zero three won't work. Uh, only the right combination. And I've run out of bottles here. There we go. Only the right combination of one two three will work. Uh, you can change these up however you want to. Uh, and add as many cauldrons as you want to so you can make it as as secure as as needed um, I find this is a pretty basic system but uh, you guys can probably improve upon it somehow but nonetheless let's go ahead and build this uh, I'll show you how to build this right now alright so wherever you want your first cauldron to be go ahead and place it down I'll place mine there then you want to come one two blocks to the left then one two three four blocks to the left is where we'll place our uh, third cauldron and as I said before you don't have to necessarily use only three you can use four five six if you want to um, then go ahead and place redstone comparators down behind uh, all your cauldrons like so next up behind the rightmost cauldron which will be our full cauldron so we'll go ahead and put our our uh, water in there already we'll go ahead and go out one block and we'll place a comparator down then we'll go one, two, another comparator, and right click this to put it in subtraction mode. Next we will get some repeaters, and we'll place two redstone down, followed by another repeater there. And this is where your output will be, so we'll draw this out, and we will put a redstone lamp at the end to indicate our signal has arrived there. There we go. Okay, next we'll go ahead and work on the middle cauldron, which is the two bottles cauldron. So it has uh, two bottles worth of water in it. So we'll come behind it, and from this comparator, we'll go ahead and come out one, two, three blocks. 
put down a repeater facing toward your uh, your output there and then hook up this repeater to the comparator which is in subtraction mode once that's done we come to this comparator once more count out one two blocks and then uh, dig down on this block right here we'll place a torch dig down another block in front of it place redstone down and we'll take this line which is our reset line in case the output is one uh, so if we only had one uh, one uh, bottle full of water in there uh, we'll take this line and connect it up to this redstone here so that is our second cauldron done so now the combination now is uh, two three as you as you see so if we take a bottle out it won't work and same thing happens uh, with with the three one if you take anything out of that it won't work uh, no matter what the input is uh, so the only one we have left to do is the third one okay so the third cauldron is our one bottle cauldron so we'll just get it down to one bottle's worth of water. We will then go ahead and place a block right behind it with a torch on the side and put redstone on the side uh, that the torch is on. Then come behind the block here, place redstone down, you'll see it'll light up. And then we need another piece of redstone and a redstone repeater. Uh, and this will serve as the reset line uh, for if this cauldron has an input of two or more. So now your lock is complete and this will output whenever the combination is three bottles of water in that cauldron, two bottles of water in that one, and a full cauldron for that one. So that is all for this tutorial guys. I hope this was informative. Uh, let me know if you like these kind of tutorials and I'll keep on doing them. So thank you all for watching guys. This has been Cub Fan. Goodbye.